So let's continue the a little bit of joy, extra joy, Sequoia National Park. Wonderful. China Blue, Prismacolor Premiere. They are um, expecting terrible weather tonight. Well, actually, I find that um, wonderful, beautiful weather. But uh, if it hits you, then you're not happy. They are expecting uh, huge thunderstorms and rain tonight. We are having a warm weather, a lot warmer than uh, normally. It is the end of May, the month of May, my favorite month. But this time it is extremely hot. It is, uh, today we will reach uh, 30 degrees Celsius for sure. And that is not, um, That is not normal for the month of May, but maybe it's we need to uh, we need to adjust to a new normal. Because clearly things are changing. And I know there are people, a lot of people saying climate change is a myth. Well, I'm very happy. This is uh, Blue Violet Lake. I'm very happy that uh, the Dutch government has been uh, preparing for this climate change thing over the last decades they knew it was coming and um, they prepared for huge amounts of rain you know we live in a delta below sea level So if it starts raining very hard, then uh, the Netherlands has uh, trouble getting rid of all that water. So uh, they made uh, they preparation they made preparations for that, and uh, thank goodness it works, and it's not that uh, nobody has any trouble when it rains very hard. But I'm sure that if the government wouldn't have taken these measurements, uh, things would be absolutely flooding. And we have had some flooding in the south of the Netherlands, in the province of Limburg. That's the only province. Well, that's not completely true. But that is the province with the highest hills in the Netherlands. A staggering 300 meters high, 900 feet. That is our highest peak. <laughs> so that's nothing. But, uh, you know, when it starts raining, they're very hard. Heavy rains. Things... Uh, nature behaves a little bit different, so... They have to make adjustments there because they had flooding there a couple of days ago. Anyway, I cannot help to always be in awe by uh, severe weather. Blue, violet blue this is. 
So I'm sure tonight I think I will make a video. If possible, I will make a video. Now I hope it it could be that the weather uh, the storms hit in the throne blue. Uh, when I am working with a choir tonight, you know, I'm singing in a choir and uh, the conductor, my brother-in-law and his assistant, my brother, they are both away. So tonight I will be conducting and rehearsing the choir. So if the storms hit, when I'm conducting the choir, then of course I won't be able to uh, uh, to make a video for you because then I have to work. But if it hits earlier or later, I will uh, make a video. A couple of years ago we had a beautiful storm floating by. We have a balcony uh, and the balcony is uh, covered under the roof so it's it's in inside we call it in pandig so it's completely uh, the roof is uh, above it So when it rains and you sit on your bel on the balcony, you, um, you will stay uh, dry. <laughs> so in a couple of years ago, we had a beautiful, beautiful, severe thunderstorm floating by. And it didn't hit our town directly. So I have spent at least an hour at night time on the balcony just watching that beautiful lightning and thunder it it was like i was watching a beautiful concert it was absolutely amazing That would be nice if something like that hap that happens again. Just sitting on the balcony at night, watching all those beautiful uh, lightning. I have to say, and I told you before, I'm so happy about it, that the sunshine therapy is so beneficial for my Prismacolor premieres. No breaking, what breakage whatsoever. A little bit of warmth will melt those broken pencil leads together. And this week something else is uh, going on here in the in our town and the neighboring town as well. A, uh, I think it's quite a Dutch tradition. I don't know if this is happening in other countries, but we call it Avondvierdagse. And if I translate that literally, it means 
evening night now evening i'm always confused by the words evening and night night is night like sleeping or is night you know maybe uh, if anybody wants to explain to me i'd be uh, i'd like that when does the evening start and when does the night start on, on the clock so to speak anyway um, this Avondvidase, it is a uh, march, 5k or 10k march, walking by mostly kids from schools or, um, you know, sports uh, groups, like the so a soccer team. stuff like that and they go out at four nights on Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday night they go out to walk their 5k or 10k and then on, uh, on the fourth night people will uh, applaud the, con the the people who did the walk and they get presents <laughs> most of those presents are candy and they get a medal I have a couple of these medals too I think I did it 13 times 10k Anyway, we have uh, one nephew is uh, joining the Avondvidase in uh, the town where I was born, so the neighboring town. And my six-year-old niece, she's walking for the first time in our town. And um, tomorrow night, the walk will they will walk uh, right a couple of meters uh, past our neighborhood they will walk by let's pick up this one cerulean blue this is the light fast range no longer available so tomorrow night we will all be out and cheering for my niece and her friends. She's walking with a group from her school. <laughs> really nice. So I'm wondering with these uh, terrible storms on the way, you know, if the weather deteriorates too much, then this walk obviously cannot con not uh, start tonight here we have a caribbean sea you know going out hiking during a thunderstorm that is not the wisest thing so uh, no So, here we have, oh, what a beautiful name, Forget-Me-Not Blue. Forget-Me-Not, that's that beautiful, beautiful flower. We didn't have it in our garden, it's a light blue flower. But... Um, my parents-in-law, 
they moved out, they moved to an apartment and uh, when they moved out we uh, received a couple of plants from their old garden and one of the plants was uh, forget-me-not and they bloomed this spring. I was very happy about it because I love forget-me-not flowers. Look at that, how erogeton and um, Prismacolor Premiere, they work together so well. I really like this. It looks a bit... Uh, it's not completely smoothed out, but uh, well, let's see what I can do about that. The paper in this coloring book is, uh, it has a little bit of tooth. It is not bad, but um, I prefer a little bit more tooth. But it's not bad at all. Now let's see, can this erosion pencil is there anything happening? when I add a lighter color on top of the darker one. Well, I have to say something is happening, but it's not, not a lot, but okay. I have uh, recently made a lot of uh, small videos, short videos for you about the outdoors. And maybe this is a good time to show you a little bit more about uh, our vacation that is well for me it was sort of a vacation for my husband it wasn't he has had to work but we went to germany in the month of april and uh, we saw some beautiful stuff there for example we s found a cave that had collapsed really beautiful so i can show you that and uh, there was a beautiful garden in the city where we were, Erlangen. There was a botanical garden. I made a couple of short videos there. So I think this is a good uh, moment to show you a little bit about that.
So I hope you like that uh, intermezzo, a German intermezzo. Let's take a look. Look at that. Very strong colors. Really, really like this. Let's see if I can uh, work with this a little bit. Yes. Do you see what I see? All these lines appearing here. That was not what I intended. But actually I find this very intriguing. It's a special effect that I'm, you know, I might... It's interesting. What I like most about the drawings in this uh, book, coloring book, well, it's not, they are paintings. And um, each painting contains all the here I have the Caribbean Sea. It contains Um, all things that are characteristic to the um, to the to the national park. For example, this is uh, Sequoia National Park. So of course you see sequoias in the drawing, and then you see a lot of animals, like here the little woodpecker. But there are bears and deer and beaver and uh, squirrels. And of course, the tourists are there. So this uh, one drawing really pulls you back into the memory of your visit when you were there. That's really very nice. 
I can imagine that if you have, uh, if you are visiting the national parks and you like coloring, then a coloring book like this uh, really uh, gives you a lot of joy going back to your memories and uh, reliving the beauty of those parks again. And here you see the uh, a couple of owls, so nice. <laughs> I remember uh, we were on a, a campground just outside um, Mount Rainier National Park, just outside the park. We were there on a beautiful campground. And then uh, at night, this owl started to uh, scream, whatever. It was beautiful, <laughs> but uh, it was hard to fall asleep with that noise above your camper, above your RV. But it was beautiful. You don't hear owls. I haven't heard any owl here where I live right now. We moved six years ago. And uh, there, there was an owl in the uh, vicinity of our previous home. I've seen and heard an owl a couple of times there, but uh, here we haven't seen any owls yet. We do have woodpeckers. Here we have a very light blue, powder blue, bleu poudre. <laughs> yeah. Here we have a tiny little baby bear. During our vacations in uh, Canada and the United States, we have uh, seen a couple of bears, mainly black bears, but uh, we also saw Grizzly bear with two cups. Yeah. Impressive animals. And actually, I'm a little bit uh, scared of them. You know, we went hiking, just my husband and I, the two of us, and many times I didn't feel uh, at ease. You know, we had bears what, during the first. No, during the first trip we didn't have bear spray and uh, but during the second trip we would uh, end up in uh, grizzly bear country so I insisted on buying bear spray thank goodness we never had to use it but I have never felt very safe in the woods and in Canada we encountered with our while driving a huge black bear it, it was goodness it was huge Let's do a little bit of work on the trees. Mm, parrot green. Yeah, 
Yeah, I can see the first clouds coming. It's this thin layer of clouds. So I think there will be a lot of um, a pressure in the air this afternoon, you know, which, which makes it hard to breathe and you feel that there is a thunderstorm uh, on the way. And then it becomes too hot to move. I did the groceries this morning because I knew this uh, weather change would come and um, going to the grocery store on my bike in the middle of a thunderstorm uh, I thought that would not be so wise. <laughs> I am really enjoying these Prismacolor premieres. So lady from Den Haag who sent them to me, I forgot your name, it's terrible. You sent them to me a couple of years ago. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very grateful for this. Jade Green, very grateful for this uh, precious gift. I'm enjoying them so much love it look at this i don't know about you but um, i have found that inspiration or the urge to color to paint it is uh, it, it isn't always it isn't always here i have to say moss green sometimes there are periods that i am really not that uh, active when it comes to coloring and painting and of course that has its reasons because then other things dark green other things have to happen but right now i'm I'm really feeling the flow of wanting to color and paint, so that's good. That's good. With summer holidays be arriving in a well couple of couple of weeks. Six weeks. Then I will have uh less students that is always the case in summertime and then um, I will do more coloring there's one thing though the passion for pencils headquarters in the morning it's okay but when it's a sunny day passion for pencils headquarters becomes very very hot so uh, well I'll have to uh, to work my way around that peacock green oh no I need something darker but I don't have a darker green in my um, uh, Prismacolor set. But maybe blue will do the trick. Indigo. Yeah, that works.
that works really nice. So I think this is it for now. Because there's a little bit more work that needs to be done today. I want to prepare that rehearsal for tonight a little bit more. You know. So, uh, I think I will have to do some studying, study the notes, the music. So I can give those uh, singers good directions. I like it. Okay, this is it. I will continue this one. Really, really enjoying this one. So uh, see you in the next episode. Bye bye.